Hey folks, it's Mike here. I'm going to make a real quick video about one of my favorite modules, the Q179 Envelope++. Plus Plus. Uh, looking through the data sheet, uh, in sequence mode it mentions that the decay input jack becomes a speed control for the uh, sequence on a one volt per octave scale. So that made me wonder, can I make the Q179 into an oscillator? So to try that out here, I have the Q179 here with the uh, input uh, coming from a Q114 uh, mixer plus plus. This is just the top set to times two, which means I got a zero to 10 volt range. I have it turned all the way up. We'll run the Q179, the speed control is set to 10. Second stage 10, zero, 10. It's in fast mode, and obviously it's in sequence mode. So first of all, let's see what we get in this condition. I'll turn the amplifier on, and you can hear a sound. Go over the scope, you can see a square wave coming out. And going over to a tuner, you can see the note coming out is actually a, a B that's about 20 cents flat. This is the B right over A440. Um, so that's interesting, and that, that's the highest note I could get out. I don't know if everybody gets the same or not. So I'll go turn the knob on the uh, Q114 here. So you can hear what happens as I'm tuning it. I'll look at the scope. So we can hear very low to high notes, but it's not continuous. It's somehow quantizing that input. Now it is on a one volt per octave because that's a B. And if I tune it down slowly, I get another B, an octave lower. And then I get a note in between, an E. And a little bit further down, another B, an octave lower. So it is true that you can tune this at one volt per octave, but you don't get a continuous oscillator out of that. Now for extra fun, because the sequencer has four knobs on it, I can change the square wave here into something else just by altering the stage values here. And I'll turn the knobs, you can look at the screen and see what happens. So you can kind of make your own waveform here. So that's kind of a bit of a ramp-like waveform. And so you see me turning the individual knobs and altering that waveform. And so on. So you can experiment with that and have some fun. Uh, so it does put out uh, a waveform, uh, it does tune one volt per octave, but it's digitizing the input and therefore you can't really use it as a, a VCO or something like that. Okay, take care.